Hi, I'm Macro. Yes, I'm that for noobs guy, and I'm also the guy that makes makes no sense videos, which I haven't made in a while, but you know, we're doing it today. And I'm gonna be talking about things that don't make sense, like how you can drive boats on land, or how you can see the fish, but you can't shoot the fish, you have to fish the fish. What's that about? Huh? But I bet you didn't know that I'm the reason that Epic Games got rid of building in Fortnite. It's me the whole time. I'm also the reason why Fall Guys went free to play. Is it a coincidence that I mentioned that they go free to play and then boom, it's free to play. So if you are a game developer working on any of the following games, this is some free consulting. Apex Legends, add a solo mode, thank me later. If you're making Titanfall 3, get rid of the Titans. Among Us, more maps. Super Smash Brothers, just add Master Chief into it. Speaking of Master Chief, Halo Infinite, Fire 343. These simple consulting things would normally cost you a ton of money, but right now it's free. So if you're interested, call today. Macro Consulting. I make games better. Ah, uh, Fortnite. Every year I think, man, Fortnite cannot possibly be really popular anymore, right? And then boom, it gets rid of building and now it's the most popular thing ever. Fortnite is a ton of fun, but that doesn't mean it makes any sense. So as usual, I went on Twitter and asked you what you thought makes no sense about Fortnite. And you came up with some bangers. So without further ado, let's start the show, shall we? Gunzo asks, Fortnite says we can build, right? But why can't we build to space? Since there is a creative mode, I decided to test this in there. And it turns out, after doing a ton of research, there's a skybox. It's like honestly really disappointing because I just kind of wanted to see how long it would take for me to climb all the way to space. Like would it take a couple hours, a couple days? They don't even give me the option. So Fortnite, get rid of the skybox. Let me go to space. Let me be the first person to reach Fortnite space. I'll be the Neil Armstrong of Fortnite. Jim Dazel says, why does Batman have an AR-15? Um, first of all, there's no AR-15 in Fortnite. There's just assault rifle or hammer assault rifle or pistol. They're not gonna be so specific. Secondly, this is not the typical Batman that doesn't kill. We all know that Batman, you know, has a code and his code is to not kill, but there's one person that doesn't understand why that's important and that's Zack Snyder. So this Batman is not just anyone's Batman. This is Zack Snyder's Batman. When everyone was saying hashtag release the Snyder, cut, it also included the Snyder cut of Batman in Fortnite. Actions, they have consequences. Mark says, Darth Vader's pickaxe. Need I say more? What's wrong with Darth Vader's- OH MY GOD! Cassette Goon says, it makes no sense that the lightsaber bounces off the water. It doesn't even submerges. Yes, the lightsaber doesn't want to touch the water because they knew that if it touched the water, it'd probably cause a bunch of smoke or something. Yada yada, who cares? You know what's really annoying? How difficult it is to get a lightsaber in this game. This bit, I was like, oh, it'd be funny to like kind of talk about it, have a whole moment with like the lightsabers. But my God, I didn't realize the guaranteed way to get a lightsaber was to kill Darth Vader, right? Seems pretty easy. He like spawns on the map, has his ship and everything, and he has his little clone tree army, but like a couple people are also trying to do the same thing. So you're over here fighting Darth Vader, which mind you, he's kind of a beast. And you're also fighting some random tryhards. And then if you even get the lightsaber, some dude dressed up in Kylo Ren's outfit will just kill you with the car. Okay, so I did all the work. I'm the one that put my life in danger trying to fight Darth Vader over here. And you just come in and ram my butt. Like, come on, dude. Make getting a lightsaber easier. It's not even that good. Like, it's good. Don't get me wrong. It's good. But like, it's not that good. You feel me? Okay, rant over. Bisley says, you never play Fortnite with me. Okay, let's play Fortnite. Sick. Alexander Kirkconnell says, why can't we choose what default skin we want? Okay, so here's like my default skin. You go in and then you die because you know, you're not gonna win, not me at least. And then boom, the skin just changed. I think the reason behind this is because everybody knows that if you could choose a default skin, you're just gonna choose default Dan. Default Dan is the best. <laughs> Hey Macro, I can't think of anything that doesn't make sense, but I do have a silly photo of my dog. His name is Cooper. That is a pretty silly photo. Sean the Gangster says, How come you can fill up a car, semi-truck, pickup truck, whiplash by pouring gasoline all over the vehicle? Isn't there like a hole in the car that's where you're supposed to pour the gasoline? So, normally, in real life, you fill up gasoline by putting gas in the hole. 
Fortnite's a little bit different. These cars just like when gasoline's poured on them. I know it sounds pretty weird, but out here in the macro show, we don't kink shame. If Lightning McQueen wants gas showers, so be it. I'm not gonna judge. Firebeast1000 says, How come when you pick up mushrooms off the ground, it gives you shields? But when I do, I start hallucinating. Whoa. Oh. Is that a unicorn? What the? Hold up. <laughs> Jesse says, it's called Fortnite, but the majority of the player base is playing a mode where building is gone. That makes no sense. Actually, I think it makes a ton of sense. No build allows for you to do some crazy shenanigans and not have to worry about anyone building a whole entire wall of fortress and stuff around you. Building sucks. And it's best exemplified by my boy Poke's tweet. <clears throat> What's the deal with Fortnite build mode? You get home from work, hop on the night, and you see a guy only to shoot him in the back, and then suddenly the Taj Mahal's in front of you. What's the deal with that? There should be no point in your life where you're building anything, not even PCs, especially when you can get these beautiful pre-built PCs from Apex PCs. They're good for playing everything like Fortnite, Apex Legends, there's different price ranges, and they just look so freaking beautiful. So if you're in the market for a PC, click the link in the description down below to get your own. Screw building, just buy. Capless Mario asks, why are Master Chief and Kratos in one game? Aren't their owners rivals? While yes, their owners are rivals, Fortnite transcends the console war. Fortnite was an end game. Fortnite is life. So if you think that a silly little console war is gonna stop Fortnite, you're wrong. The only thing Fortnite needs to do now is solve the Battle Royale war. Give us Loba in Fortnite. It's what the people want. Poplio asks, why is it that we can lose stamina while sprinting but not swimming? It makes no sense. While I'm not a fan of the stamina system in Fortnite, this actually does make sense. Running is really lame. Swimming is really fun. Things that are lame takes a lot out of you. Things that are fun, you don't even realize all the energy you're exerting. It's the reason why the only way I can work out is by playing Ultimate Frisbee. Sometimes fun things give you more stamina. Sad asks, why can fish sticks use Stormbreaker in the Fortnite X Marvel trailer, but can't use the Stormbreaker pickaxe? I don't know, man, this doesn't make any sense. It's $25 to get the Stormbreaker pickaxe. I'm not gonna freaking buy this for a bit. I know I usually do this for other video games, but I don't love Fortnite that much. But I do already have Mjolnir. It chooses who's worthy, right? So you can use it as Thor, you can use it as Captain America, but you can't use it as Juan Wick? What's that about? I can't use it as any of these characters? You tell me Rick Sanchez can't use Mjolnir? Come on, game. But Thor is worthy? Have you seen Thor 4? Thor 4 was a bore, a snore. The MCU has been getting so poor. Please, no more. Toad TWE says, what doesn't make sense is that you can be fighting a wolf one second and then the next you can have it instantly tamed and loving you by just jumping on top of it. It doesn't even need to be fed anything to like you. So yes, it is strange that, you know, you can literally be fighting wolves in one second and then the next second, boom, you've tamed the wolf. However, my theory is that these wolves are always on your side. They're just playing a little bit aggressively, right? Just waiting for you to play back. And the moment that you play back, then they're super loyal. And then the other wolves just get jealous and that's why they still attack you. It's super simple and just super playful. They're just being adorable. So if you tamed a wolf recently, let me know in the comments down below what the name of your wolf is. And if any of you named your wolf Wolfie, get out, leave, go home. God, Wolfie, come on. So what did we learn? Probably nothing because this video made no sense as well. Let me know in the comments down below what you think makes no sense about Fortnite and I might read it. Maybe. I have a lot of free time. And with that, I'll catch you later. And the next time you see me in Fortnite, we'll be in space.